Okay, the possession of David O'Reilly. I like the direction this film was going, but I didn't really feel like I cared that much for the people involved. So you have a young couple, and then one of their friends show up. He believes he's being attacked and chased by demons that only come out at night, and only that really he can see. The wife, of course, is like, I think your friend is crazy. He needs to get out of the house. And his buddy's like, no, man, he's cool. You know, this sort of just, just happened all of a sudden. They do show the occasional random, like, nighttime monster shot, which I liked because it gave it this weird feeling of, is he really crazy, or is it the things that he's describing to make people visualize things that are happening? I like that it walked that, that fine line. If this would have had some slightly better actors to it, maybe. There's a lot of good stuff there, it just doesn't seem to really fully 100% click and, and gel together. But I'm glad that it left enough open interpretation in the film to him, like, oh, no, he's actually crazy, or maybe he actually has seen something. But they play that loose enough that it keeps the film entertaining enough to get all the way through it.